Hello and welcome to a new video about control engineering. Last time we talked about to how to analyze the system with a correcting variable jump. This time we want to look how good or bad is our closed loop, our control loop. Therefore, we are not making a reference variable jump, therefore we are making a reference value jump. Okay? Reference variable jump. This is what we're doing to analyze to analyze the whole control loop. Reference variable jump. Make again a little diagram here what I'm talking about to see which values we can read out of this. Uh, so this is again the different parameters here. Uh, here is the time. Beautiful. <laughs> Wunderbar. Let's say our reference variable has first one value. Yeah. Then at some point in time, it's jumping to a second value. Yeah. This is our jump. Reference variable jump in time. Yeah. So this is our W from T. Our system is reacting somehow. Let's say it's reacting that way. This is the controlled variable, hit zero, here it will start to rise, yeah. then we will overshoot a little bit, yeah. then we are going down again, and then we slowly but steady getting smaller, and then we are reaching the position. Okay, So this is our x from t, our controlled variable. What can I read out of this? Yeah. Well, there are certain values which we can have a look at. Yeah. One value is this. Yeah. This time here. Tian. In German it's the so-called Anregelzeit. Yeah. In, in, uh, in English it would be rise time. Uh, this is the rise time. This is the time from the jump until the, 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 the controlled variable is reaching the first time it's then stable end position. Uh, so this means x unlimited. In unlimited time we will reach this position and this is the time from the start of the action, yeah, from the jump of the reference variable, until the correcting var uh, the, the, ref <laughs> the controlled variable, too many variables. Yeah. The controlled variable reaches the first time its steady end value. Okay? This is the Anregelzeit or rise time in English. Then we do have the time to the first overswing here. Here is our first maximum. This time here. Call it TU for Überschwingzeit. Yeah. It's the overswing time in English. This is the time from the start of the action, the reference variable jump, to the first maximum, okay? Which is usually the highest. Or it's not stable, then but let's assume we have some, something stable. Yeah? Überschwing Zeit, yeah? overswing time. And then we have the overswing width, yeah? or overswing value. This is this. Yeah? In German, Überschwing Weite. It's given usually in percent. How many percent it's overswinging. Overswing width, overswing value. Yeah? And then there is a certain tolerance area 
around this. Huh? Let's say it looks like that. Plus minus two percent. Okay, plus minus two percent. And the last time we are exceeding this plus minus two percent in our example, this is here. Yeah? Because afterwards we will stay inside this tolerance window. Yeah? So this time, in German it's the so-called Ausregelzeit, and in English it's called setting time. Yeah? These are the values we might use. Okay, as some how measure define how this looks like for us. So these are overswing time, overswing value, overswing width, rise time, and setting time. These things I can read out of this reaction. Is this good? Is this bad? Well, we have not defined it. Those things need to be defined. Yeah? This is why we are talking in next video about quality criteria, integral quality criteria, how we can yeah, categorize things, yeah? and how we can get a value on how, how good a control loop really is. Yeah? We want to read a value about this, uh, to compare two different things to each other. Uh, this then will be next video, quality criteria. Uh, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.